everyone, I'm here in Cleveland National Forest, and today I'm gonna to show you how to hike to Sugarloaf Peak. Now with this hike, you not only get one peak, but you get two peaks included because there are two Sugarloaf Peaks that are right behind me. The big one is Old Sugarloaf, and the smaller one over there is New Sugarloaf. And we're gonna take the San Juan Trail up. It's about 13 miles or so, about 3,000 feet of climbing. Uh, the climb to the, the approach to the actual peaks is pretty gradual. A really nice trail, popular with mountain bikes. I have to share the trail, but I've never had any problems here. But the scrambles up to the peaks are some of the most challenging here in Southern California. I mean, the scramble up to Old Sugar Loaf is probably about as steep as you can get without just like constantly slipping down. So you're gonna need, you know, trekking poles and uh, a good frame of mind to go and do that. Now, I have a full guide on hikingguide.com where I'll have the maps, I'll talk about gear, parking, all of that. So check that out before you go. And as always, a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel, supports these free guides. I cannot do it without you. I'm grateful and thankful. So thank you for that. And uh, an easy way to say thank you for the video is just to click that little thumbs up button. All right, guys, let me show you this cool hike and uh, maybe you can add these peaks to your bagging list if you have not already. All right, so we're going to start here in the Hot Springs parking area. It's a pretty, pretty big parking area, but it does get full on weekends because it's a popular mountain biking spot. And you can see there's a sign here right by the toilet uh, for the trail, which is easy to spot just across the road from the toilet here. And now we're going to start a series of, I think maybe about 15 switchbacks uh, initially out of Hot Springs Canyon here. And you can see it's all well marked, easy to follow as we go up. Great views into Hot Springs Canyon down there and uh, overall in great condition. Uh, some parts are rutted because of the mountain bikes and you can see, you see here it's kind of rutted from mountain bikes coming down on the wet terrain, but in general it's pretty easy to navigate. There's also these mile markers which start at, from the other end of the trail and you can see the trail heading up there. And the other end is by the Blue Jay Campground, if you're familiar with the area. Now, once we finish the switchbacks, we're going to kind of pop out on the ridge, which we'll be following up there. And off to the right is San Juan Canyon, where the 74 is, Ortega Highway. There's Sitton Peak in the distance. And from here on out, we're kind of winding our way up along this ridge until we get to the peaks. We're going to pop out to the other side. You're going to get nice views down into Hot Springs Canyon, where we started the hike. You'll be able to see the trail kind of cut into the hillsides below you as well. Really, really beautiful um, on the way back down uh, when you do the descent. Really nice. Now as we continue, we're going to climb higher. You'll be able to see Santiago Peak, Saddleback Mountain popping up there. And we'll get our first views of Sugarloaf. The big one is old, and the little bump right next to it is the new Sugarloaf uh, Peak. And we're going to kind of pop in and out of view of those as we continue. but. They're there, and you can see, look at the trail. It's a beautiful, beautiful trail, uh, really well maintained. So the word is that this uh, follows the old uh, native trail that, that cut across the Santa Anas, at least in parts, obviously not the switchbacks. But as we continue, you're gonna get better views of the sugar loaves right ahead of you, kind of gauge your distance. We're basically gonna hike to the foot of those, right in between them before we climb both of them. Here we get more great views. You can see Margarita Peak down there. That's down by Camp Pendleton um, and Peak, uh, I forget what it is, 2044, it's back to the right. Another one if you're into bagging them. Now when you get in between the peaks, we're gonna look to the left here and there's a little, usually some kind of marking. This time it's an X, but sometimes there's a cairn there. And now we're gonna start what is the hardest part of the hike, which is the scramble up to Old Sugarloaf. And you can see it's overgrown but there definitely is a trail. If you look down, you can definitely see a trail there. And these beginning uh, stretches of this used trail are relatively overgrown, but a little bit steep, relatively uh, gentle in terms of the gradient, but then they slope upward and you just have to take your time. It's real loose, it's rocky, it's a tough climb as we go up um, towards the top there. I think it climbs, uh, it's a third of a mile, but I think we're gonna do uh, at least several hundred feet up here. And when you get to the top, you'll be able to look down. I couldn't really capture it because I was huffing and puffing, but if you look down there, you can see how steep it is and you can see the trail down below as well as the new Sugarloaf Peak. 
But we're gonna continue up here. And at this point, the climb is pretty much done. We're gonna pop out at the summit, which is pretty rocky, but the summit does have a summit sign. And here it is, Old Sugarloaf. Now I have the story of why there are two Sugarloafs on the website in the guide. You can uh, check that out if you wanna dig deeper. There's Saddleback in the distance, Los Pinos Peak right over there. Another great hike, I have a guide for that on the website. And then we're gonna head down from here and you can see there's a trail and right in front of us is the other Sugarloaf Peak where we're going. But we're gonna basically go downhill and then wind around the mountain uh, before we do the climb again. Now here we, back up. here we are again at the San Juan Trail at that little junction. And then we're gonna come out and head over towards Sugarloaf. Now this part's relatively flat, maybe maybe a little uphill or rolling. And as you go, you're gonna get nice views of Old Sugarloaf, which is right there. The video doesn't do it justice. When you actually look at it, it's, it's pretty amazing that you just climbed that. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna continue up. There's a couple of wide sweeping switchbacks as we go up here. A really uh, scenic area as we go up, you're gonna get views of uh, Los Pinos Peak and the surrounding hills. Hot Springs Canyon up there, another good waterfall hike I have a guide for on the, on the website. Here's an angry rattlesnake. You might not be able to see it, but you can hear it. I almost stepped on the sucker. All right. So be careful. I almost always see rattlesnakes on this hike. And we're gonna to come to a wide junction. There's another smaller trail uh, back to the left, or sorry, back to the right here, right down there. We're not gonna take that. We're gonna enjoy the views, but we just have a little while to go until we get to the turnoff uh, for the, the new sugar loaf, the main sugar loaf. And we're gonna go up this little hill. At the very top of the hill, there is a little side trail off to the left, and here's a little cairn. There's usually a cairn to mark it, but it's real easy to miss this entrance to this trail. And once we come into this clearing, we're gonna make the hard left, there's the peak in front of us. We're gonna make the hard left, and again, it's, it, it's, a, it's definitely here, the trail. It is overgrown, you can see how overgrown it is. But if you just look down, you'll be able to see a well-worn path. Now the good news is this trail is nowhere near as steep as the other trail or as long. It's definitely steeper than the you know, San Juan Trail, but you can see it's not too bad. There's some boulders to climb up, nothing too crazy to call it a class three scramble. It's probably accurate, but maybe an exaggeration, but we're gonna climb up. And then there's this really cool split rock feature that you go through right before you get to the summit right there. And we're just gonna go through this split, uh, split boulder here. You can see it's, it's a little bit of a scramble, but nothing crazy. And then here we are up at the summit of Sugarloaf Peak. And there's also, hopefully when you get here, a sign. Hopefully somebody hasn't stolen it. Um, but you'll see there's a couple signs here. And then there's also this great sort of resting lunch rock up ahead of us where we can sit down and enjoy views. You can see all the way out to the, uh, the ocean and the hills beyond. If you stick around a second, I'll show you what this all looks like on the map. All right, so here's the hike route. This is the 74 here, Ortega Highway, San Juan Canyon. We're gonna turn off into Hot Springs Canyon, head down to the parking area here. And you can see here are those switchbacks that I mentioned earlier. In the beginning, they're real tight, and then they sort of loosen out as you follow the folds of the land. When we come up here, this is the area where we had the views of the canyon and Sitton Peak, which is over there. And then we're basically following this ridge line up until we get to the saddle between the two sugar loaves. And you can see we go to either side of the ridge. It's not a lot to say about this. There's not really any junctions. The trail is really easy to follow. Mountain bikers, when they do come down, they usually come from Blue Jay up here and they come down this way. So uh, that's what you have to keep your eyes open for if you're going up the trail, somebody coming back down this way. But again, I've always had a good uh, experience with mountain bikers here, never really had any problems. Now eventually get to the saddle between the two peaks right here. And then we're gonna do the climb up to Old Sugarloaf. And in the beginning, this is that sort of gradual part. And then this is the tough part. And again, these photos don't really do it justice. It's really steep. We get up to the peak, we come back down to the junction, continue on the um, San Juan Trail, do this little loop around the mountain. This is where that junction was. 
and then here's that turn off and then we're up at Sugarloaf Peak and then that's the hike that's the that's the deal if you have any questions just leave a comment on YouTube and I'll do my best to answer it guys and otherwise I'll see you out on the trails